It's Friday, September 28th, 2012. Hello, I'm Veronique Masterson, and here's what you need to know about what's happening at the University of Texas at El Paso. I'm here at the UTEP Dinner Theater, where they're preparing for Spamalot, the opening show of the Dinner Theater's 30th season. It all began nearly 30 years ago when an undergraduate theater student wanted an opportunity to direct a musical. He and another student were given $1,000. With that, on March 10th, 1983, they opened the first production of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dream coat staged in dinner theater style it sold out its three performances the rest as they say is history three decades and more than 100 productions later that student greg taylor is still here as director of the UTEP Dinner Theater. The Dinner Theater's success is a result of a number of people's support and hard work. And one of those persons is Dinner Theater coordinator Beverly Curbs Ward, who was recognized for 15 years of service at UTEP during the university's 2012 fall convocation. This year, 324 faculty and staff were honored for their service. The 10 UTEP professors selected by the University of Texas Board of Regents to receive its Regents Outstanding Teaching Awards were recognized during the event. Also honored was UTEP Department of Chemistry Chair Dr. Jorge Gardea Torres Day. He's the UTEP recipient of the Minnie Stevens Piper Professor Award. Every year the award is given to 10 professors across Texas for superior teaching at the college level. Gardea Torres Day earned the award for his groundbreaking work in the field of microscopic nanotechnology particles. He's the 13th Utah professor to achieve this honor since the San Antonio-based program began to present the awards in 1958. During the fall convocation, UTEP President Diana Natalicio spoke about the state of the university, its achievements and future, including the centennial celebration and campaign. Part of the celebration is the newly launched UTEP100years.com. Through anecdotes and events, the website allows the university community and its friends to participate in the celebration of UTEP century of history and the excitement of its future. The website also provides information about the Centennial Giving Campaign for UTEP. It's a $200 million fundraising initiative that provides the access and excellence in higher education to all students. Through this campaign, UTEP is able to strengthen its colleges, departments, and divisions by providing funding and leadership support. UTEP's commitment to access and excellence is reinforced by the recognitions it receives. Most recently, UTEP students earned the 2012 Online Journalism Association's Award for Non-English Projects, Small Medium Category, for the university's Mexidus Project. The project is a multimedia package of stories that examines the exodus of businesses and members of the middle class from Mexico due to increasing levels of crime and drug violence. The stories appear on Borderzine.com, a web magazine created by UTEP's Department of Communication and the Sam Donaldson Center for Communication Studies that prepares bilingual multimedia journalists for jobs in 21st century news media. Zita Arrocha, Borderzine Director and Senior Lecturer of Communication at UTEP, says she hopes other journalism programs will be inspired to launch bilingual by national multimedia projects like Mexidus. A big congratulations and thank you to all those making a difference here at UTEP. For more information about these and other stories, go to utepnews.com. I'm Veronique Masterson. Go Miners!